thought behind Anahmati? <laughs> Ironically, there was no thought at all actually. Because uh, mostly what we do is whenever we create a series, we tend to have a title for it. And which makes it uh, all the more framed, choreographed. Say if I'm painting fishes and if I have a series called Aqua, then I can paint only fishes, nothing else. Uh, so I've, I've done a lot of series where I had a title and I, I really stuck to adhere to the title and I never went, moved away from it. So the idea of Anamankit was actually to create a series which actually doesn't have a, a sort of a guiding title or anything, so I could create anything in the series. You know? So hence it's Anamankit. Anamankit is a Hindi word, or it's of Devnagri origin actually, which means the untitled. And uh, so, so there are different paintings uh, which which have which have inspiration from different uh, uh, parts and fields, like this mythology in it, the films in it. There's also aqua as, as water in it because all my paintings will have water. Uh, so yeah, it's it's like that. So this is actually the second part of the series that I've exhibited, and uh, the first part uh, was taken by a gallery. I don't think I'm allowed to take names of galleries, but so yeah, the second part I really wanted to exhibit. So yeah, that's what. How long did this whole thing take to come about? Exactly? See, I I never planned that. Uh, oh, I, I okay, I'm going to make a series called Anamankit, and let me give myself say what two years or something or a year. Uh, I would paint, and I thought that as I'm creating series like there was Aqua, there's something called Jeep, which was a series uh, based on the origin of language. How we started talking and conversing in various languages, how language became a medium of conversation. Uh, so all those were series, very definite series. Uh, but uh, Anamankit, I was doing different paintings here and there, here and there. And then I thought that if I have to exhibit this, I really need to have a name for the exhibition. Uh, so that's how Anamankit came in. is saying that uh, you know you, you freely become conscious of your body but you're still satisfying your sexuality okay. but then you're really over conscious about your body and stuff like that. Oh. so she calls her maid and asks her to clean her feet and stuff and she takes off her clothes and doesn't realize she's like how 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 like conscious am I and this is like her lean self which she was which is sort of disintegrated oh. it's there here and there. so that's most of the pieces like have a story to tell and that is what I like most about painting when every painting has a story to tell and uh, yeah I mean this is interesting work I, I, I have a few favorites yeah, so what are your favorites? Um, I, I really like that one there and I like this one here I'm sorry I... The auto rickshaw Yeah yeah The whole story, did you read the story? Yeah yeah I did read the story So that's what really got you Exactly I mean the, the small little intricacies and details he, he puts inside to build up a story I think that is extremely and nice and original. Does it come through to you through the painting? Yeah, like, like a lot because um, like everything. I mean, I'm sure like everything he wants to say, I don't understand it. I'm mm -hmm. sure I have a lot of things which I've understood and he need not say. Yeah. So I like the little intricacies, like little petals, flowers, eyes, motifs he's put inside to like tell the story. Mm -hmm. I think it's really original and nice. Yeah. That and this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's aqua, right? Aqua life. Yeah, it is called the metamorphosis. metamorphosis. That every living thing comes from water. Exactly, exactly. So I, I think the whole white formation is really nice. That's a little bit of a mermaid there. Exactly. You like that? Yeah, yeah. So you like vibrant colors, I guess. Like, it's a lot of. Power. I mean, it just depends on painting. Like I don't have a very, very um, strict. Um, yeah, completely. So like, extremely nice. Uh, if you see like uh, the, the language of colors, that's only colors in levitation form where. The brush doesn't touch the paper. Uh, there's ink work, uh, there's canvas, there's charcoal, uh, there's acrylic, there's mixed mediums, so it's, 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 it's all there. So I think it's a little more than a year while I was creating all these paintings and it 
uh, summed up to create about 30 paintings and then I realized uh, like this one uh, metamorphosis right at the back uh, this is again based on uh, the conglomeration of the scientific logic that every living thing sort of originated from water bodies and uh, the, the, the belief in the myth that mermaids do exist and this is a part of the entire series actually what I like is, as a painter, he's been quite a good storyteller. Wow. See this one, you know, the reflections of an auto rickshaw and you know how he, uh, on a sultry summer afternoon, whatever he's done. I think it's very, very creative imagination. There is a, a subliminal thought process which he's developed in pretty well. In fact, I was having this conversation with um, uh, Atul Jodhia in, in Delhi and we were talking about um, how, you know, I mean, since I'm a creative person as well, I think most paintings should be left untitled yeah. because it's about how, it's about the person who's yeah. looking at the yes, painting, yes, their perspective, yes, yes, true, true. Yes. and their definition yes. of it because yes. why would you want to explain your work? Yeah. When you get yeah. it, you do. If you don't get yeah. it, it's your problem. Yeah. Yeah. You like, like explain if you don't feel like <laughs> that. <them. laughs> Exactly, yeah, exactly. Like someone just asked me and uh, yeah. they said that, you know, and explain. Yeah, I, I probably not understood the painting, but I said, no, you probably have understood better than the artist himself. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It's about what different, yeah. for example, you see, I find you get so, um, one tends to get so involved with their own work. Yeah. And then sometimes it can be difficult to step out and have an objective perspective, whereas a layman, you know, I mean, he doesn't really need to understand art. But, you know, I mean, for example, a young boy can look at something and he will pinpoint a unique aspect yeah. of the work yeah. that other people might not even yeah. see or notice. Yeah. So, uh, what would you, what would you uh, say about the atmosphere, the ambience? And... I think it's definitely got a um, you know very sort of relaxed uh, atmosphere, but um, uh, I, I do feel that um, a more structured environment is better at um, promoting fine art. You know, when you have completely stuck white walls it, it, it really brings out the work a lot more but I love the atmosphere I think it's very comfortable and it's essentially for people to get together and and not just look at art in a critical perspective but perspective but also to enjoy it yeah so in that respect it definitely works but um, you know from a gallery perspective I feel that uh, you know I mean a more structured environment so perhaps it can be a bit of both yeah. yes yeah. And so, yeah. uh, what would you what would you like uh, uh, for, as a tip or uh, you know, uh, for Shoman? Just um, you know, um, believe in the work that you're doing, and 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 just be committed to to that belief, and keep doing the work that you want to do. Really, yeah, that's yeah. the best advice one can give to anybody. Yeah, I think it's the same thing. Just believe in yourself, and then basically you have you have to do your own thing, like. I cannot explain how, yeah, but uh, it's, um, I don't know, like, I don't know what to say, really, <laughs> but just be yourself and <laughs> have a good time. Yeah, yeah. have a good time. Good effort. Um, not only good, good effort. It's something um, I always enjoy seeing uh, my younger contemporaries 
I call them younger contemporaries. Maybe an age gap, but you know they're doing work parallel with me. So um, somebody, somebody pushing the boundaries, trying to do something with what they have and utilizing their own internal resources. So for me, this is a, <laughs> this is how we started. This is how I see them. Not starting, he must have done it. He has done his three, four exhibitions out here yeah. already. Have so, you been for them? Have you no, been this is the, the first time actually. This is the first time. Yeah, the first time. If you had, you'd know, you'd see that this is very versatile as compared to the other two exhibitions that he did. Versatile? Yeah, it's very different. Who is versatile, Shoma? Oh, he's not here. He's not here. Okay, alright. <laughs> it's okay, as in pet me with <laughs> No, I like the word versatile. Versatile <laughs> speaks a lot, you can do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you know, and as I have known Shaman, a director, an actor, a model, and a painter, an artist, if you call him. So I'm, I have appreciated what I what I have seen of his work, mm -hmm. or the body of his work before, mm -hmm. which is um, the Goldfish series, the Aqua series, Aqua, yeah. and now um, Anam, Anam and Kit, Anam and Kit, which is the Nameless, basically. Yeah. I think I have booked one. Right. Um, I saw other people looking through a lot of details. Um, I think I'm a pre a pre I appreciate a lot of beauty in a lot of things. So for me, the painting when I will be living around it has to have some element of beauty. Mm -hmm. uh, sadness really distracts me, and um, it, it 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 kind of the beauty in a painting kind of connects with me that way. So and it may not be beauty also. So, but one of them which I see Something is, that speaks to you Yeah, speaks to me is um, uh, The one with the little fishes uh, The fishes, yes. that's uh, the Hydro Cocoon Yes, Hydro Cocoon So that has caught my eye
Lovely, 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 lovely. You're the people here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely. Lovely.